What's up guys, Cody here, and uh, I haven't been putting out painting videos as much as I'd like to because it's so damn hot outside. I mean, literally it was like 116 or something yesterday, and uh, I'm going to show you a painting that I did. I actually tried to record the painting, but because it's so hot, one, it messed up the painting. It's still good. I still like it, but it's not good enough to sell. Um, and two, I can't record because my camera keeps overheating. So. When I get the chance, I'm gonna put some more painting videos up. Uh, just right now I can't because it's so hot. Um, so yeah, apologize, but when I get a chance, I will. So for now, I'm gonna show you a painting that I've done and kind of explain it. Now, if you don't know me, um, I do abstract art. What that generally means for a lot of people is that I have no artistic talent. You could definitely make that argument, um, but I just really enjoy making pieces they're just very colorful, right? So yeah, I can't draw and I can't do portraits. I can't do landscapes. In fact, uh, I'm gonna put the phone down because I don't want you to see my messy house. Give me one second. Okay, so um, I guess I could have cut away, but I don't really do that. Here, I'm gonna show you real quick. This painting, okay, so I'm gonna try to put it into the frame. This is the first painting I ever did. Um, not like as a kid or anything, like a little kid doing a painting. This, uh, this lighthouse painting I did in high school. And I guess you can tell it's a lighthouse. I mean, there's uh, kind of buildings, sort of. But here's the thing. I didn't I didn't do the painting because I cared. I didn't uh, I don't like the painting. My teacher didn't even like my painting because uh, that was for high school and I did it in art and my teacher didn't really like it. So I didn't think anything of painting. Um, now, I guess if I put more emphasis and more time, I maybe I could hone it. I just don't enjoy it. Right. So I do abstract. Anyway, if you've seen my video, you already know that if you haven't just kind of background. But yeah, that is actually the first painting I ever actually did on purpose. So here's the painting. Uh, this painting is called The War's Over, and it is a black, red, and white painting because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people really, really, really like black, red, and white. So just to kind of show you, uh, you know, uh, close up of it, I guess, stretched out because it's on an unstretched canvas. It is not on a on an actual canvas, like it's just on, you know, just on the canvas itself, unstretched. Um, yeah, this is the piece. So essentially it's just composed of three colors, black, white, and white. I mean, you probably guessed it. The, uh, you know, because I use gloss enamel, I use Don Edwards gloss enamel. The red is hot jazz. The white is white and black is black. So very, very simple there. Uh, to make the piece, obviously, I had it flat on the ground, so much like, um, you know, a lot of my paintings, I paint on the ground, similar to how Pollock did, and uh, I scraped, just literally, you know, kept pouring paint in lines or in blobs. So, like, uh, for instance, this, this big black stretch here, you know, I just poured a bunch of lines of paint and then scraped it with a piece of corrugated plastic. Uh, the corrugated plastic I got from Home Depot, I think, or you can, I mean, I found a few pieces at work one time that were gonna get thrown away, but you can buy it at Home Depot for like five, 10 bucks, something like that. And it literally is like black or white and it has the little squiggly things. So if, you know, the corrugated. So, um, but I mean, you can make this with uh, flat scraper. You can make this with cardboard, really. Um, but I used plastic. So anyway, uh, so I painted, you know, the lines. I would just put lines and lines of paint. I would pour the paint um, and then I would scrape it slowly across. Uh, so it's a very simple painting. Uh, pretty much anyone could do this. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. So again, I didn't get to show you the video, but I mean, what, what, how much more video do you need of a painting like this, right? Where I just had paint poured the paint on in sections and then scraped it across. And again, I'm not trying to be Bob Ross. I'm not trying to be, you know, the next anything. I just like colorful paintings and that's how I made that one. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. If you have any other questions um, or need anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please, you know, 
like it, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll, get, I'll catch you guys around. And when I can make some more, I will make some more. And if not, then I'll just explain some. Have a good one.